Hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. Thanks so much for tuning in and thank you so much for everybody that watched and commented on the last video. Today we've got a really awesome vlog for you, but before we get started, I wanted to take a minute and thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Kmall24. Kmall24 is a Korean-based company and they have sent us a couple products to check out and to try out and then to share our opinion of it with you. So the first product that they sent us was the Butterfly Tea Box Kit. I am so excited about this one. So is Corey. We both love to drink tea. So this is right up our alley. They also sent us over their Premium Flower Tea Flower Tea Sticks, which are just so stinking pretty. And I'm like, I almost don't even want to drink them. They're so pretty, but I know that they're going to taste amazing. And I'm just really excited to try something from a different country. You know, Corey and I have both traveled a lot. And one of my favorite parts about traveling was going to different countries and, and taking in their culture and eating their food and drinking their tea and, you know, just seeing what all they have to offer. So to have something that's shipped from the other side of the world, from Korea, here into our home for us to try out is super special. The butterfly tea kit, it came in and it's absolutely gorgeous. When As soon as I opened it up, I was so excited because it just is so pretty and clean and neat and it just looks so appealing. Um, this is the butterfly tea box kit. So it comes with six different flavors. We have the marigold flower tea. We have the Siberian chrysanthemum tea. We have a regular chrysanthemum tea. Then we have a magnolia flower tea, the coxcomb flower tea, and my favorite, which is the acacia flower tea. As you can see, they're all packaged beautifully. Each one comes with, I believe, three different tea bags inside. And all you have to do to prepare these teas is just like a normal tea. It comes with a tea bag. You put it in your hot water, you let it seep, and then enjoy. All right, so I decided I wanted to try first one of these flower tea sticks. So it's actually also chrysanthemum tea sticks. And all you do is you take it out of this cute little package. It's almost too pretty to drink it, but you take one and then you take your hot water and just like any normal tea, you just let it, you, you put it in and you let it seep. These teas definitely have a very unique and like delicate scent to them. It smells so good and they're just so pretty and so dainty. All right, friends, so because we have enjoyed this product so much, we reached back out to Kmall24 and we asked them, can we please give our audience a discount? And they agreed to let us give you a discount code. It's the Southern fried ml so it's the southern fried ml i'm going to put it right here on the screen and i want you to go and check them out just follow the link in my description and then put in my discount code and you'll get 35 percent off that is so exciting because these teas are really are amazing and i want you all to try them and it also makes a beautiful gift y'all make sure you go check out the link in the description get your 35 percent off and then come and comment and tell me what you thought about your amazing Korean teas. Now, on to the vlog. We are taters. That's for you, booger mom. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today, we're gonna show you our schedule. That's right, it all kind of depends on this one. But um, we're kind of getting into a routine and as I'm getting ready for my 90 dresses in 90 day challenge. Um, I figured we'd just go through a regular day at home with us. All right, so it starts off with this one, waking up, waking up at god awful hours in the morning. Now usually she'll wake up at like four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning for some reason. I don't know why. She used to sleep through the night. She doesn't anymore. Um, but yeah, she'll get up at like four or five and want a bottle. And I'll give her a bottle and she'll drink that and then go back to bed. Then she usually wakes up about 6.30 to 7.30, somewhere in there. And she's like ready to go. She's a morning girl, just like her daddy. So we'll get up and uh, she'll want another bottle in the morning. She's a hungry little girl, big girl. And for the first like 30 minutes, she really is a cuddle bug. She just wants to love on you and cuddle and it's my favorite time with my baby in the morning. And we'll sit and watch cartoons for a good like 30 minutes or so. 
And then, once she's wide awake after some cartoons, it's time to bounce, baby. So what I'll do is I'll put her in her bouncy seat that's still in the bedroom, and then I'll go and get ready, like I've been doing. So she was bouncing in the bouncy chair while I was in the shower, and uh, I'm trying to get ready for my 90 dresses in 90 days challenge, which we've, we haven't really talked about a lot, but I have been doing it every day. Um, let me clarify. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a new dress every day because I have so many in my closet and I just thought it'd be fun to try to do a new one every day. But um, I'm not actually wearing these dresses in public. You know what I mean? Like I go to Publix to the grocery store and Costco and that's pretty much like the extent of where we go on a normal basis. So don't think that I'm like putting on these Vegas party dresses and going to Costco. You know, that's not happening. What I'm doing, I'm just getting up, getting ready. The whole point of my challenge was to feel better and try to fight off the baby blues and get frumpy and just, you know, not really taking care of myself. And so the point was that I would get up in the mornings, every morning, and I would find a way to take a shower, do my hair, put my makeup on, put on a pretty dress, and snap a picture. Um, usually after I snap my pictures, I'm changing into some like blue jean shorts and a tank top so we can go get-ish done. And so my routine to get ready to be able to even do that, to be able to wash my hair and stuff, is to try to get up, play with her, do the cartoon thing, put her in the bouncy chair. I know for a fact every morning at 10.30 on the dot, she is ready for sleep. She starts rubbing her eyes. She wants her nap time. That's the one nap that she's like to the T. You could set your watch by the 10.30 nap. And then when she's down for her nap, I can do like the dishes and the laundry and uh, just kind of do whatever I need to do around the house, pay bills or whatever. Right now, <clears throat> right now I did not have a chance to do my hair and makeup, obviously, because she was in her bouncy seat. She let me get halfway through my shower and then I could hear her out here just scream and she was done with the bouncy seat. So um, I came and brought her in and thought we'd vlog a little. Yeah, girl! Look at this pretty face. Look at her hair, it's getting all curly and everybody says it's go it's like getting red. Yeah, kinda. It's like strawberry blonde. Her head's getting better. This is a little pillow I bought, um, and it's for shaping your baby's flat head. Um, yeah, I think it's actually working. She's been using it. I use it for everything when she's on her little mat, when she's you know in the bed, on the boppy, anything, I'll try to put that behind her. And I feel like her head's nice and roundish now. It's getting rounder and rounder every day. Isn't that right, big girl? It is almost 10.30 now. I know she's getting ready for, for the big NAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her down for her nap, get her nice and cozy, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that she is asleep, now it's time for me to get ready. I'm gonna do my hair and makeup and stuff. Um, you know, really, it's just kind of playing it by ear. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be on like an exact set schedule every day, but you know, it's just me and her here. So I just kind of go with the flow. Um, I'm really on her schedule 100% and then try to get in when I need to get in in between her moods. Okay, let me blow dry my hair before it gets all crazy. Y'all know, if you don't blow dry it like right away, it starts doing its own thing. Ah, let's do this. Okay, now my hair's dry, so I feel like I'm not so rushed. Now, while the flat iron is heating up, I'll go ahead and do my makeup. I'm a Walgreens makeup girl. Like, I don't spend a whole bunch of money on makeup. I use this, bam, old school, the good stuff. Because of these long nights with the baby and having to get up and all that up and down, I always get these like bags under my eyes, so. First thing I do is go for those. Just a quick one over with the powder. Someone once told me that if you put your eyeliner on halfway to your eyeball, it makes your eyes look bigger. So, I don't know. That's what I've been doing ever since. And then I'll go get this little line. Can y'all put eyeliner on without opening your mouth? It's like this is the universal face for eye makeup. Okay, now, I'll put on my eyeshadow. I just get the cheapy eyeshadows. Nothing fancy here, folks. 
actually today. I'm gonna use this one, it's a Maybelline. It's like my go-to, just brown, real neutral colors. Brown. So now I'll go halfway with the dark color and just kind of kind of cover up that black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna use the light color from the inside all the way to the brown. Kind of keeping it neutral, natural looking as much as I can for doing a shadowy eye. So now that I have the light on and the dark on, I'll take my handy dandy little eyebrow brush and I'll just blend the two right there in the middle. That's like the way I do it every day pretty much. And then the mascara. Maybelline Define a Lash. This is like the best mascara to me. Get the bottom real quick. Uh-oh. And the baby's crying. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay, false alarm. She was just kicking and stirring a little bit. Okay, now I finish her off with a little lipstick. I love this color and I'm almost out of it and I stole it from mom. I don't know where she got it. It's okay. A trick, if you have just a little bit of lipstick left and you're trying to get it out and you can't, like the brush doesn't go up because it's all up here and you can't get it out and you really want this color, stick it outside in the heat for like 20 minutes and it'll melt it and then it'll like drop it down and then you can really get in there and get it. A little lipstick trick. Get every last bit out of your favorite color. Mwah! Ta-da! Makeup done. Flat iron my hair and pick a dress. Ta-da! See, that never takes me very long because I just, my hair's so flat naturally, it just takes a minute to just kind of smooth it, kind of curl it under a little bit. Do I really have 90 dresses? I mean, look, yeah. I think I do. All of these are dresses. And there's more upstairs. Like, this isn't even all of them. Let's see, what dress are we gonna do today? Okay, so here's my new dress. I have a little stand here. Put my little phone on. This is how I do my little pictures every day. And then it's picture time. So that's my dress, y'all. That's my dress for today. And um, that is the routine for the morning. Okay, y'all, so Sophia slept for a good uh, 45 minutes, almost an hour this time. I just got done getting her up and changing her diaper, and now we're gonna get her dressed for the day. What do we think? That's a cute little outfit for the day. Isn't it, girlfriend? You ready to bounce? You look like you're ready to bounce, girl. Mwah. Yeah, let's bounce. Who's gonna bounce? Bounce around. Who's gonna bounce, bounce, bounce around? Yeah. Are you a hungry baby? You look like a little hungry baby. Let's see, I try to feed her every four hours about four ounces. And really, it just kind of depends on how she's feeling. Sometimes she wants to eat, sometimes she doesn't. But when she's hungry, she lets me know. When she does the, give me food, mom, look. Like this one right here. It's the mom, you better feed me, look. It's gonna get crazy in here if you don't. Uh, cartoons with lunch? Duh. Booker's on guard. All right, so uh, from here, usually after we play and we do tummy time and, you know, we just bounce and play and have all the fun, then she'll go down for her afternoon nap. Just kind of if she's in the mood to be laid down. Sometimes she does not want to go and take a nap. So, um, yeah, she's been, she's been having a blast lately, though, playing with all her new toys. And um, it's really been a lot of fun these last couple of weeks. She has got so much personality. She's going to be a wild one for sure. Um, so this week I've got some exciting news. Her grandma from Canada is coming down. Corey's mom, Lori, is coming down to spend time with us and to meet Sophia. And we are really, really excited to have grandma here. Yay! So she's going to get a hangout with Sophia and that'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, in the evenings, um, she usually goes to sleep around like 9.30 or 10. Um, but then she always wakes up in the middle of the night lately. I don't know why. She's just been waking up at like 4 or 5 every morning. So that's too early for me. 
hopefully I'll be able to get her to sleep all the way through the night again. And uh, that's it, folks. Y'all leave comments. Tell me what your routine looks like with your baby. Tell me if there's something I should be doing. I don't know. I'm not doing right or whatever. I hope you're all having a great week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.